Citywide Youth Development was established in 2010 to provide Baltimore youth with opportunities to learn entrepreneurial skills. After years of effort and support from partners and funders, entrepreneurs making and growing enterprises, known as the Image Center, opened in February 2021 in one of the most impoverished areas of Baltimore City. Rashid Aziz, the founder and director of Citywide Youth Development, arrived in Baltimore eager to provide opportunities for youth by establishing businesses to employ them and creating a mechanism to spur entrepreneurship. He soon created Frozen Dessert Sorbet to sell frozen treats from carts at busy locations throughout the city and made in Be More Clothing to design and manufacture activewear for children and adults. In 2017, Citywide Youth Development partnered with Under Armour and Plank Industries to set up a manufacturing facility at Port Covington. But Aziz found that many of the people who would benefit most from the opportunity found the location inaccessible, so he decided to find another location in West Baltimore. In 2019, the organization partnered with the Druid Heights Community Development Corporation to renovate a vacant warehouse on North Avenue. The 10,000 square foot facility is now home to frozen dessert sorbet and made in Be More Clothing and serves as the headquarters for citywide youth development. The facility also houses a small retail business incubator that can host up to a dozen new enterprises. At least two businesses have already set up shop. Be Original Kids, another clothing manufacturer, and Pamper Yourself Baltimore, a women's boutique featuring locally manufactured jewelry, bath and body products, leisure apparel, and accessories. The Druid Heights CDC and Citywide Youth Development secured a $200,000 grant from the Maryland Department of Housing and Community Development's Baltimore Regional Neighborhood Initiative to acquire and renovate the warehouse. The grant also funded new mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, a new roof, installation of cutting, sewing, pressing, and printing machines, and the installation of a commercial kitchen to produce the sorbet. Citywide Youth Development expects to train and employ between 75 and 100 people in the industrial apparel manufacturing program. Meanwhile, the frozen sorbet operation has created more than 100 job opportunities for Baltimore youth in the spring and summer. In addition to the manufacturing facility, the Image Center also has a public mall space. Located in one of the most impoverished areas of Baltimore City, the project demonstrates how grassroots engagement, vocational training, and public-private partnerships can achieve success. The Maryland Department of Planning extends its congratulations to the Image Center for winning a 2021 Sustainable Growth Award in the Sustainable Communities category. Good afternoon. My name is Rashid Aziz and I'm the Executive Director of Citywide Youth Development. On behalf of the Citywide Youth Development team, I would like to thank the State of Maryland Department of Planning for this Sustainable Growth Award for Sustainable Communities. The Image Center is the headquarters for Citywide Youth Development. The Image Center aligns with the goals of providing solutions for crime and poverty through utilizing the tools of manufacturing entrepreneurial skill. Image. What we wanted to do with this center was change the image of Baltimore City, specifically uh, the urban inner city Baltimore. That acronym, IMAGE, stands for Entrepreneurs Making and Growing Enterprises. Again, that acronym of IMAGE means Entrepreneurs Making and Growing Enterprises. This center is a 10,000 square foot economic development center in the heart of West Baltimore that will provide underserved communities with various opportunities, including employment, workforce development, training and apparel manufacturing, retail opportunities for entrepreneurs via our four retail pop-ups that exist in the center. Frozen Desert Cafe is the only indoor-outdoor dining option in West Baltimore. This incredible institution wouldn't have been possible without support of Governor Hogan, Lieutenant Governor Rutherford, Senator Hayes, Abel Foundation, Francis Merrick Foundation, T. Rowe Price Foundation, the Goldsecker Foundation, and the Weller Foundation. Thanks again for this incredible honor.